Hello guys, welcome to GRL, GP3, round 13, round Belgium. We have 11 drivers here today. One person will be getting knocked out. First one out is EOR Jams. Dry collie, dry race. I Callum, Dead Horse, Elliot, Pal and Calvano have opted for the supers, while the rest have gone. Gone for the socks. Yeah. Rodan Rapal sat on his first flying lap. Down to turn one. Nice and smooth on the power up on the way up to El Rouge and Radion. Oh. Out and he's lost it. Very well to keep it out of the barriers. Damage front wing. Unlucky there from Paul. Jams has got started flying lap on the soft tyres. While Callum is on the super softs. A little lift off for Callum up the whole region, right on. Size not to open DRS, hi Callum. Might be a banker that. Very tight. Comes up to the corner, no name. Enough towards P1. That's very neat. Come to the end of set two, very neat. Little sector from there from I Callum. That is now a big long way down through Bronchmont up to the bus stop she came. He decides to go into the pit to abandon his lap. Next up is DC. Brilliant result from DC in Hungary. And they have the same in here in Belgium. And the final two corners in the bus stop she came. Put the power on quick. Sets the first time of a 150.0. Sam is around the last corner. And sets a 146.6 on the softs. So very good there, lap there from Sam Fuller. up to come to the checkered flag will be Owen. Very decent middle sector. 
is also on the soft tyres. Very neat there from Owen in the final couple corners across the finish line. And he's got a 147.7, which is invalidated. Next up will be GRL Carvalho. Very good exit out of the last corner there. All the way down to the launch and the bus stop chicane. Elliot's been disqualified for driving the wrong way. That's very unfortunate there from Elliot. So the rest of them will be through to Q3. If they don't decide to lose the wheel. And it, it, the Euro Jams noticed that and he is retired. Owens 1.1 seconds ahead of his time. Up to the bus up chicane, all the way down to gear two. Then he's the throttling. Across the line, you get to 145.9, but it's also validated. Oh, but sorry, bro. That's all right. They're all through at the minute. Food is more important. What happens, what's happened to Jams and Callum? They're both crashed out of our uh, No, I think they um, retired in the pits. Because only it's disqualified, we don't need to do that. Yeah. Because only it's disqualified for you. Uh, driving the wrong way. What? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see it on board then. It was near the pit entry. Oh, that was lost there. What was I was eating my food? I was watching like... people. I watched two people lose it up, up, up our roof. Callum's. I, Callum, had lost it years out. Jams has retired in the pits. Callum's got terrible damage. Whoa, and Owen's lost so it as well. What is that at all? Look at this track, track anyway. Track. Get it back in. DC has retired. Guys are starting to think they're through now on the uh, soft compound tyre. Oh, Natty's got no front wing, she should be coming into the pits. Which she does. I think. I don't think people are getting the message that they're through and they'll just. just no point putting out a lot. Fresh choice of tyres for. Race. Seven people have opted for the subs. What well, a minute they've got two points. I but Jams, Callum and Owen can decide and Elliot can decide what tire they want at the start of the race.
how it comes first to the finish line, gets a 151, 153-1. He's retired on track by the way, Smithy. That's for him. Pretty much your problem on this one. Owen oh, Nash is coming out of the pits. Don't think he realise he is already through. Same as Flavor Horse. Flavor four. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? Oh, George is retired in the pits. Safe. So right on board of the Russia. Probably hoping for a track. better weekend in Hungary. Yeah. Do we say strange decisions that happened in Hungary? Safety car didn't help anybody, but. I did it help Nasher and DC, the two that needed <laughs> keep, <laughs> need to keep having good results, but everybody else it kinda of screwed over a little bit. So. And the pace of Salva looks to continue at this stage as Salva is top in the tank time sheets. Nasher's lost it and he's always in the wall. A lot of drivers don't realise that they're already free, but they just keep hitting that wall. Oh. So that'll be all... So Onash will be joining Elliot out of Q2. Oh, there'll be like four cars left in, in Q3. Sam Phil has retired. I just wonder if the pressure's getting to the both Williams people. The top the team behind them are putting a lot of pressure on them. The mistakes are now starting to happen. So just 50 seconds remain in Q2. So far, Sam Phillip, Calvano, George, DC, Powell, and Horse, and Jams will be all making their way into Q3. While Onesha, I, Callum, Owen, and Elliot will be out. It is the end of the road for them. I tell you what, it might be my plan in GP2. What's that? Just to wait it out, wait it yeah. out and see if people crash. You don't have to set a lap and start on fresh tyres and so be it. Rolling, rolling, rolling on a river. Very surprised that not many people realised that they're all through and they just kept on going. And retired. They're making a mistake. So now we're into G, 
to key three and the second drivers remain. All having the chance to fight for pole. Want any more of them? Who's it? Oh, Rouge. Oh, Rouge. How is the first one to come out? Um. Two salvage drivers look very strong on this track. Salvador especially can jams get redemption to his teammate rather than Hungary, helping him to the last couple of laps. Nicking the, the win out of his hands. Powell's getting ready to start his flying lap. on board with Sam he's now about to start his flying lap not smoother up or is this time the part on the turn one it's great traction all the way up to El Rouge and Radion. Slight lift off Radion. And all the way down the Camel Street. Ooh. It's all twitchy there from Paul. up to the corner no name so far very good lap so far from Sam Bullock hitting the apex as well and getting on the track very early Jean P1 also takes that very neat next one turn 12 and 13 come up to 14 and 15 one goes one four forty three nine A respectable lot there. And set the time for everyone to beat. <laughs> How's lost it up the road rouge? And Sam Fuller around the last corner. We'll get to one forty four nine. George Bauer has lost. He's retired. Has he done that? Oh. that? Radion is causing a lot of people to. Tell a lot of people. Radion is. It's another one gone. Radion's going to get corner of the day. This way.
I don't know if my name's a corner, so. Hey, <laughs> I think El Rouge is the, the left, the left hander, the bottom of the hill, and then Ruddy on the, the right hander, and the kid at the top. I think they split up that way. Powell was retired as well. Where's he lost that? Looks at somewhere. Right Ride on board with hands. Jams, alright. Get a decent first sector time. There's a couple of attempts slower than all. And 14 and 15. And he's lost it. And, oh, that's a great save from Jams there. Just missing the wall. Jams is getting into the pits. A new set of super softs on. And DC is about to get ready for his flying. Up. So far, Flavor Horse has decided not to come out. So far, he is at fifth place in the third row. Slight lift off from DC. Going up radio, and I think he has invalidated. Calvano and Sam Fuller are on the outlaps. <laughs> Flavour of Horse has now decided to come out. And Jams is also out, also have one lap. Come on, come from turn one. in the car very nice. He's up a rouge and up ready on. Loses the back end at just a slope. He corrected it very well. And if he goes down the coming straight. Now come up to turns five and six and seven. And turn eight. And 
to turn nine, no, the no name corner. Comes around P1 at turn 10. And turn 11. Very neat there from Caravana. We've got the 12 and 13. Very good exit for there from Caravano at turn 15 and on, the, on his way to the Bumshima at turn 16 and 17 and 18 and 19 for the bus stop chicane. Can he improve his 149.3? And he does. The 145.7 puts him up to P3. And Sam Fuller has crashed. How has he done that? Where is he? That's P1. That's the exit of P1. Very good awareness there from Sam Fuller. I let him flay for a horse for him. So he jams his next across the line. And you also see the, the checkered flag. In the last corner and gets a 145-2 just behind his teammate. The flavor horse goes sick with a 149-7. Let's call the phone over. To Powell on his debut takes pole with a 143.9. Sam Fuller in second with a 144.9. Jams in third with a 145.2. Burns up the top three. Now we have a five minute break. A screenshot the results. So there we have it, we have Paul or Powell in the first place. Followed by Sam who starts alongside on the first row of the grid. Second row of the grid we have Jams and Calvano. Third row we have George Bell and Flavor Horse. And our DC, who didn't set a time, starts in seventh. Okay, well, these weather conditions might cause a couple of problems. Overcast. The tiles will start to struggle early up the early stages. Ooh, everyone's on the soft tile except from Pow.
Question is, maybe he was your top three. It is. Might cause a lot of people some problems. So who do you think is the top three, Smithy? It's hard to write off both sours. I don't think Kelly won't be coming through the field in the back as well, so. Yeah. I think the two Salbus are going to get first and second. And I think there might be a safety car. I think third place who might take advantage of it. Which could be possibly like Owen or Nasha or possibly Callum. Question is, how long will it take Powell to start losing grip on those super softs like that though? They degrade so quickly if they're not in the right window of temperature. With these conditions, it's very hard to keep them in a temperature window. So if you've got any questions on who do you think is going to get first, second and third, send either me or Smithy our gamer tags and tell us what you think. So we're just a couple of minutes away from lights out. Powell's going to be a, a sit and duck down that camel straight. Starting first in this circuit is not a good idea. Runs are good of a start that he gets. He might have an awful start. Everyone's now starting to ready up. So everyone's five minutes is up. Start the formation up. Yeah, the Belgian Grand Prix. The Belgian Grand Prix. <laughs> <laughs> so, if everyone's getting off, yeah, everyone's off on the way. Now, this is critical for power to get these tyres up to temperature. He needs to decide to just zoom ahead. Let's race that line as quick as he can. That's not going to be a good idea, really. <laughs> the race no. is just giving the time behind. It's just... It does look like it's going to rain. Anytime soon. I wonder if he's going as quick as he can just to make sure this race goes quicker. It's 
Sam to slow down a bit, wait for Sam Fuller to catch up. She has indeed. Barry's going a bit hot, almost spinning it, going into the gravel though, that's going to cost his tyres from the start. So Powell makes his way around the last corner. Getting himself ready for the lights out. So Elliot's in position. It's lights. Lights out and away we go. The Belgium Grand Prix is underway. Elliot's had a brilliant start, jumping Owen. Here's Jones, Jones has got down the inside of his teammate, going into the lead. Back, uh, back in the lead. Jones the has ball. backed off Tordic. and Sam has got him. Elliot's out already. And then it's crashed, oh he's lost it already on his out as well. The two sides of the and they look a bit close to Powell at the front. So Powell takes the lead, he keeps his lead. Sam yeah. Fuller keeps his second place with Jams in third and to fourth, I yeah. Callum is up to fourth. Who's going to be on the inside of him? Callum's had a brilliant start. Yeah. Gaining five positions on the first lap. While Calvano is looking at Flavor Horse. The yeah, Owen's looking at Bell as well. He's training for him. Any good news from the Eric Deuce there? Russia tired already. Not <laughs> many people do like that. Owen's going to look at Russia Calvano. Flavor Horse going very wide at launch him on. Caravana has got even closer to him. He's going to line him up down the coming straight. The Flavor Horse going very deep turn one and Caravana has got him. Mistake for Flavor Horse and Caravana has got him. James has got a very good exit out of Radion. Almost side by side. Callum's got the straight line speed. Jams down the inside. He's got, he's got the Ferrari. makes a new stick. The flavour hall is having a look at Carl Barno. A little touch in the rear. And Callum almost got the move on Jans but hit the curb on Puon. He's lost a lot of time. The Jams. You see, he's trying to have a look and move on Flavor Horse. So 
The closest battles between Flavor Horse and DC. Sam Fuller, it's the fastest lap on the socks with a 150 dead. Basically, the Flavor Horse has got a wide again on turn one. Turn one looks like it's very tricky for Flavor Horse. He might lose another position. DC going up radio. Flame Horse gets a free second time penalty. So it looks like the two salvage drivers are going to battle once again. It's not going to be long until Powell's tyres are going to start losing grip as he's on the supers. Sam Fuller is ever so slightly gaining on the leader. While he's pushing his teammate through with him. Ooh, Charlie's going to lose his That mistake from Jams put Callum right behind him through Bonchimon. They yeah, looked at the move but choose not to and Paul Powell is in the pits. Them supers did not last very long. But how is he going on and so far Carl Varno's in the pits as well. Very out of stuff. With wing damage, I think, I think it was him that it, not, uh, got caught up with last year. The power is going on the soft tyre, so we might have to do another stop. So Sam Fuller is leading this race by 1.4 seconds on I Callum. Followed by Jams, and followed by Owen, and George, and Flavor Horse, and Pau, and DC, and then and DC Carvano. lost it because DC was right there on Flavor Horse. We have two retirements of Elliot and Nasha, very unfortunate from those two. Well, Jams is one tenth behind I Callum. Just the closest battle on track. So far, the Sabre drivers look very strong, but like they did in Hungary. This is the new force to be reckoned with. I Callum is ever so slightly gaining on Sam Fuller. Been a brilliant start from I Callum and O oh, in a minute. Callum started in ninth and in second, and Owen started tenth and is in fourth. Flavor Horse gets another three second time penalty. So the gaps are starting to form. The gap between first and second is almost into that one second barrier. Zai Callum would be very pleased with the start he's got. A disappointing qualifying, but he's 
So they've always made up for it for the race. Powell is trying to make a move on Flavor Horse. It's very deep. Very good exit. And Flavor Horse touches the grass. He's going to lose a lot of traction. And Powell's getting very close. Coming up to Blanchemont. Side by side for Blanchemont. Oh, very good recovery. And Powell. Play horse slows down a bit. Play horse did not give no room to Powell, and he's got a three second time penalty. He opened the door and he just closed it immediately. Call that just in case. Bay Horse has lost it at Radion and Powers got him. He's up to P5. I Callum is less than a second behind Sam Fuller. Both drivers equally match, both of the same ERS. They're both going for it, they try and open the gap and close the gap at the same time. So DC is less than a tenth and he's side by side with Flow Horse. Flow Horse is getting a lot of battles today. Um, Callum's oh, oh, Callum. for the dude as well. He's going to get a lot of slipstream and toe then the camera straight. Owens lost it at Radion. Radion has took another victim. Caused a lot of problems in qualifying. It's also causing a lot of problems in the race as well. Right, so it's a corner that everyone gets caught out by. Obviously lost a little bit, so. The weather conditions doesn't help the Ooh. fact and Callum's gone very wide. Ugly and man. Jams has got him. A stake at Poo and hit the curb. There was a lot of problems in yesterday's race Pion did, and it's also causing a lot of problems in this race as well. Just hit the wall behind us. This gets close back up to uh, the for hall. Got a mess on Phil. So uh, the corner strikes again. It does Phil. It's a standout corner every year. Mike Callum's in from second place. And he's got a five second stop go down for speed in the pit lane. Which might cost him for the end of the race. So far it's a Sauber 1-2, followed by the pole sitter. With Powell in third place. Glow Horse in fourth place, followed by DC. And then Callum re releasing from the pit in 6th 
Bubba George in seventh and Albano in eighth. He was it to the game. I can't lost it. Right oh, to sure. another victim. To shot that. I think that is definitely corner of the day. I think Jams be the luck more happier one. As he was behind Callum before the pit stops. So coming on to lap nine, Sam Phillips got a two and a half second gap to his teammate. The flavour horse is having have a look at a move for DC. James gets a three second time penalty. Versus battle on track is flavour horse to DC. So we're almost at the halfway stage. Almost over half of the nearly half of the hill. I just don't know what a track like this though. Oh, oh the the horse is struggling with tires. Hasn't stopped yet, Flavor Horse. He's Ooh, gone wide it's... again. And George Bell just goes past. Oh, there's a bit of a wiggle on as well then. The Flavor Horse, DC and the two Salber drivers, the only ones who haven't hit it yet. The Flavor Horse has hit the curb. Who on keeps it together. Jams is in. Trying to do the undercut on his teammate. And Powell gets a three second time penalty. So Jams goes on to. What tyre has he gone to? He's gone to no set. He's gone to a set of medium tyres. He's going to the end of the race. And DC is in. There was mandatory pit stop. And Flo Horse is also in and he also gets a five second time penalty. And a new front wing. DC will come out in fifth place. Pax is going to have a big lead on everybody else. So now the race leader is the only person who hasn't stopped. It looks like Powell will have to do another stop. As I don't think the soft tires will make it to the end of the race as he's already done six laps. Better flag set one. Caravano is less than a second behind his tip behind Flavor Horse on the supers and he's got tremendous traction and just breeze past him and takes sixth position. 
Thank you for the zoom. Gonna lose the lead. Just wrapped onto his teammate. Oh no, is his teammate gonna jump in? He's coming the last corner. And he's coming ahead of his teammate. Back and forth. So the top three are separated by four seconds. Five seconds. Yellow flag somewhere. It's George Bell gets a three second time penalty. Bam's just catching his teammate rapidly. I think Sam Fuller's medium tyres had not kicked up yet. Temperatures are very cold when they come out. Well, Jams has done a lap already, which is temperatures would be nice and optimal. He's now inviting the pressure on his teammate. He's got tremendous traction. Very tight between these two saddle drivers. But they don't take it They're side by side. I'm just looking to go. Yeah, no push over there. But losing their own race right at the end. Is that Jams inside? Down the inside. It's still oh, in the space. Ooh. Oh. And Sam out. Wow, I don't think there was much of a touch there. I didn't see much contact. But... Sam Fuller's lost it on the last corner. Very unfortunate there from Sam Fuller. As now George Bale up into third and he's in the pits. As DC comes around the last corner, will he jump George? We're very tight between these two. And DC has got ahead of George. It's George Bauer has lost it. And he's lost the wheel. No, Radion took another victim. No, no it's been caught out by the cold tyres released in the pits. Radion must be laughing when he put that flat corner is taken. Blair Horse moves up to fifth. But as it stands, Powell is in first by 5.3 seconds by Jams. How was in yet? Jams takes the lead. Well, Powell has gone to another set of softs. And they start the pressure. You have to push. Mountain on Jams. You have to push. But Ten laps to do soft ties. And the gap is 12.2 seconds. Maybe 13 before he gets up the hill. Looking at the, the pace that he would have lost. Question is, will Powell have enough time to get to Jams? And also, will these tyres start to go? There's a yellow flag set for two.
as it stands, so we're, we're having back-to-back -back wins. Oh, oh, tough. Oh, yep. As on his debut, a very good performance, standing on pole. At that minute, he's trying to push. Gain up on jams. We put the gap down to 10.9. Might have a, a couple of laps showdown right at the end of the race between these two. Get a flag set for two. The slow horse just goes into the gravel. He's also got damaged front wing, missing both end plates. Flame Horse can still get four plates, as Carvana's still got to do another pit stop. And Carvana goes in for that pit stop. He's gone onto a set of soft tyres and a new front wing. Red Horse is at Blanchemont. Garbano will keep his fourth place for the time being. And Power is now 9.3 seconds behind Jams, the leader. <laughs> DC has taken advantage of a little sing song there, you swiffy. Oh, I see you, mate. <laughs> uh, uh, so I just want to sing him a little song in Britain. He's got a video, <laughs> he's got a little clip of it as well. <laughs> Posted it on the Facebook page. Very far from Stitches. <laughs> Oh, look, Jam, poor Mo's twitching there, seeing the power put first as well, actually. He's getting very twitchy. He's going to be Very gaining. tingly as well. Yeah, he's going to be gaining like mad. <laughs> He's just got to keep it together, the well. Jams. The longer you can keep power behind, the more tire waves they get on them soft tires. As I would be de degrading much quicker than Jams is. Especially how he's pushing on them as well. Yeah, the flag set the one. As Powell goes into the grass at Pier 1, he loses. Two seconds. Oh, two seconds, mate. Let's have my celebrations. Oh, get very tasty. Lots. Powell's rear end of the car is getting very twitchy at the last corner. So we've got seven laps remaining. And Jams leads the race by 8.5 seconds.
So the gaps are now starting to form. Very big gaps. Yeah, has that mistake from Powell cost him the chance of winning this round? This track can get very tricky if you keep making mistakes, you're going to lose time very rapidly. So it takes us a couple of mistakes from jams. A couple of mistakes, takes one mistake, so I love the lap it is. <laughs> what, Raddy on? <laughs> That's one big mistake. I think everyone, I think half the lobby realise that corner now. How many times that, that corner has been taken everyone out? But when you hear it was um, in, the, in their party, uh, someone goes up to Radio, or Paul Roos up to Radio, and they're like, ah! And then they're just dead. <laughs> <laughs> Never know, so I'll not be you later. Go that little. Uh, <laughs> I'm in the Renault, so I don't want to do a Magnus and I want to do a headrest <laughs> fly out. You never know. I'm sure Chill will be happy about that was the little rivalry you have. Oh yeah, me and Chill will crash into each other now, don't <laughs> No, I'm so real. I, I, I don't honestly think I'd get top 10 here. I'm really slow around it. I'm really slow. I think it's going to be cool. There's very problems if it's raining. Right on. <sighs> I, kinda, I, I think I'm kind of problems. begging for rain, to be honest. <laughs> I think Flavorful Horse will be happy with a P5, eh? 10 points. In the bag, boosh, beautiful. Oh, it's just kept out of radio and almost lost it. Yeah, don't, don't, don't tempt fate now. <laughs> it might not be the quickest very Horse, but he's very... He's, he's done what everyone else has done, is survived radio. That's good to add him at least 10 points. And then, a good couple of time for somebody else to leave, you know. Anything can happen. As yesterday's race, someone lost it on the last lap. Good day. Yeah. That's luck. Not crashed out, just lost one position. So Pal is under six seconds. With five laps remaining. It's going on Tars, five laps. It's gone through half the life. Lost it at a route, and Flavor Horse has lost it on the entry of the pits. Getting on the power too early, and just spun his rear tyres up, which might cross him up ready on. Keeps it together. I think DC will be happy with this result, starting in seventh, getting a podium. Gotta pick our drive of the day. Tough ones, there's not many pit for them. 
All up with races. I would probably give it to Jams. The battle is teammate and Callum. Oh, Cavana's lost it. Yeah, I'll probably give it to Jams. The, he's been in a lot of battles and he's gained two positions as well. It was debatable between him and DC, but I think Jams might edge it for me. What do you think? Sophie, you're a driver uh, there. DC's had a very quiet race, haven't he? But he's done well. But will Jams be able to fend off? Oncoming advances of Pearl. We'll have to wait and find out. Dun, dun, dun. As now into the final three laps of the race, Pearl is 4.4 seconds behind. Only one corner separates these two drivers. There's the big corner. Really. Oh. Track looks very greasy. Well, that's remaining. Yeah, very long laps for jumps. Oh, and Flow Horse goes into the gravel. Hasn't got long left. Got to keep out the walls, and he's getting 10 points. Which he probably wouldn't have expected. Start the race. It's now Powell is now three point four seconds behind our jams. He's getting ever so closer. But is he closing that gap quick enough? That mistake that Powell did, he lost him two seconds and might have cost him. James has got one and a half laps to do to be crowned Bel the Belgium Grand Prix winner. There's now less than two seconds between the top two. That's less than a lap and a half as well. It's Bumhouse clenching. <laughs> How his fingers are tingling. <laughs> I can see him. I don't know if it in there. Do 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 if he, if he comes, if, he's, if he doesn't get DRS up to the Hamel Street, he's done it. 
That mistake's cost him though, because he'd already be on his arse. We might have done the move already. Might just be a little bit too far back. Play horse could play a part of this. Has he got to do it? No. He's very close to him. Dude, it's now for second. I don't think Zavs is going to lose this in the last lap of it. And there is Michael starting to creak in with gems. As he lost the lead to the last couple of laps to his teammate. Low horse needs to move out the way, and he does. Out the way nicely as well. That mistake. Oh, Oh, Powell and Pure has young. probably just cost him. Oh, force in the background. <laughs> what is he doing? He loses it in the background. <laughs> just <laughs> see these two is coming down the, down, around the corner and he's just coming around sideways. <laughs> he's having fun, isn't he? <laughs> Bless him. Fair enough, he's finished the race, which is not a lot of people in this race can say. Most people are they're giving up. Just gotta watch out as he's not gonna make a, 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 a silly move into last turn is it? No, Jam just done it. The jam's only the last corner, second race in JRL. out. And then on penalties. It's a second and a win. And Powell. Yep, he wins it. That's second on his debut. Yeah, I think personally he's going up. He's very quick. Hey, James, look at you. Oh, driver the day, horse across the line. Constantly in the battles. As he was getting respected P5 for Flavor Horse. Calvano gets fourth. He still be very happy. Starting in seventh. We'll be getting a podium. The other day, might have to go to jams and call the day, has to be rad on. What car are they? What are the jinxes <laughs> that tomorrow is? Alright, <laughs> I'll, I'll invite the top three. Good interviews for me. Um, do me to do the interviews? Yeah, please. Okay. That's <laughs> right, yeah. You've got jams. Yeah, we found. Jams, power. That's got it, Paul. Don't know why I keep calling Paul for. Don't know why. I think there's a U in there. <laughs> Where is DC? I can't find him. Where is DC? There he is. Uh, yeah, let's wait for everyone else and get the interviews underway. Oh, sweet interviews, yeah. Just waiting on jams. How is he? Make sure you tick the boxes, you tick. Yeah, include it, yeah. Right, there we go. Hello. Hello. So, Paul, or Pal, <laughs> getting P2, starting on pole position. Yep. Very convincing That's performance. Seven. How do you think yeah, the race went, debut. buddy? It went pretty well for a debut in the new uh, in my new league. It's uh, it's pretty good. Uh, to be honest, I thought I could have catched Jams in the end there, but uh, I just couldn't couldn't 
entirely catch him, and I had a few penalties, so it wouldn't have really mattered if I did get there. But uh, overall, yeah, good good race. What do you think your strategy is going to lay out, and what would you want to improve for Italy? Is he here? And then uh, I managed to keep the softs running for pretty much the entire race. So that worked. I think it couldn't have gone any uh, worse. I think if I did switch to mediums, I would have been too slow. So, yeah, I think it went well. What, what's your strategy going into Italy? Uh, just a lot of practice, really. Okay. Good performance, nevertheless, from Pau on your second place and your first podium in GRO. Yeah, thanks. So we move on to the third place of DC. You had a okay qualifying. Did you hear the question? Can you hear me? Have a little... Yeah, I can hear oh, you. Oh, you come back the now. The party's yeah, messed yeah. up a bit. All right, All right, I'll do it again. So... You had the okay performance in qualifying. So what... Yeah, not too bad. What was your um, thinking going to the race, and how do you think it went, buddy? Just... I just wanted to stick to the one-stop, mate. That's it, really. And try and keep my wing in one piece. Yeah, a lot of people um, struggled to do that today. I don't know. What happened to Nasha today? Uh, uh, Radion. All oh, right. <laughs> A lot yeah, of that was me. Kinda... <laughs> that was my strategy, mate, just to keep it clean as I possibly can, and just stick to the one stop. I'm pretty and satisfied also, with that, to be honest. And also, what do you? What are you going into Italy? All I can do is practice. Go? It's a completely different track to this. Um, just practice, mate, and I'm looking forward to it. I think I'm in the lead. At, am I winning this league now? I think you are, to be honest. I think Callum's and George are slightly behind you. Right. Nevertheless, yeah. you're on your podium. Yeah, thank you, mate. I'm sure for that. Hopefully, it'll be the same in Italy. That's, that's the aim. That's the target. Yeah. Got a mess from jams. He thought his race did very well, especially towards the end, under pressure from Pau. But I just want to say sorry to Sam for crashing. It wasn't intentional, but I think that the end result would have battled, would have, been, would have happened. Very good performance there from jams. Starting in fourth place, ended on the top step. So we move on to rather the day, which. Jams did get drive of the day, very convincingly. <laughs> <laughs> and we also given Radion corner of the day. <laughs> corner of the day. <laughs> <laughs> As it caused a lot of problems in qualifying and in the race. <laughs> oh God, yeah. True. <laughs> <laughs> so that is it for this week for the GRL GP3 in Belgium. GP2 will be happening in 20 minutes, so stay tuned. Nevertheless, we'll be here with GP3 in Italy next week at 7pm. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Yeah. <laughs> where was that broadcaster? I mean, it's still broadcasting, but where was that broadcaster? <laughs> Twitch, not mix. Oh, I didn't know if it was Twitch or uh, Twitch or Mixer. So, but Mixer's crap. So, Twitch. Oh, sweet. I want to. I'm gonna watch that back, maybe. Yeah. Why is the broadcast still going?
<laughs> Bye. You can't. Yeah. Go it's away. Day. End it. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> you got your race now. <laughs> Gotta think of more questions. Think of more questions for the interviews just before we end. <laughs> just think of more questions. Uh, how do you feel about Reddit? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. End the stream! <laughs> uh, I gotta be honest, that last, that last, I'm just gonna keep talking while we end it, we're probably gonna be cut off. Um, I gotta be honest, that pressure to trying to catch gems was really, really hard. I was, yeah, that was, that was hard catching him. In my last league, when I had gems, uh, in the um, he had some more, I say, bad luck than uh, I did. But uh, yeah, this this league was harder to beat him. Mainly because like wrestling is such. This is. That yeah, is it is. A nightmare for people. Uh, I managed to get it flat out. out. I managed to get it flat out halfway through the race, like managing to just find a way through. But I was so scared those last few laps, I would just end it all. <laughs> Jams did very well to keep you behind with Flavor Horse just letting you by. Uh, I did shout move. I did my best. <laughs> Sebastian Vettel voice. Move! <laughs> best Sebastian Vettel voice. Just move! Get out of the way! <laughs> Blue flag. <laughs> and that was a, it was a good. It was a good race. Is anyone even still watching the. <laughs> if anyone's watching, just go. You're not supposed to see this bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is the extended, the bloopers. <laughs> yeah, this is like behind the scenes. Oh, can you imagine if like Channel 4 or Sky did this? Like they just go, all right, <laughs> we'll see you next time. And then they're just like, the camera's rolling. <laughs> they're just walking, they're like packing the truck it? up. <laughs> How do you end it? All right, we got a question from Jams. <laughs> which uh, says I didn't read it hang on said how did, did you keep, keep you how behind. did 